workload profiling. Okay, once again, as we talked a little bit about before, understanding what a workload is and how Platespin views the workload is central to understanding our whole solution set of products that we provide uh, out there for the corporate user. Okay, so once again, going back to what the concept of a workload is, workload is a concept that talks specifically about everything that's installed in a machine. Whether that machine is a physical piece of hardware or in a virtual machine, what we are concerned with, or what a workload is, is starting from the operating system level, the applications and data installed on that hardware. You know, when you talk or when you think about server consolidation on a mass scale, data center IT admins have a large problem on their hand. Okay, basically what they're trying to accomplish with a large scale server consolidation project is the ability to take a lot of separate physical machines that are running in the data center. So they may have racks which have lots of physical servers inside them. Can each one of these physical servers that's currently running in their data center is taking up space. Okay, floor space in a data center is not cheap. Um, obviously rack space being the same type of thing is a physical commodity. Uh, it costs a lot of money per individual server to power it, to heat, or sorry, to cool the server properly. Okay, so when you're talking about a large scale server consolidation project, you have a scenario where you have lots of physical servers out there running in the user's environment. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to consolidate or run less numbers of these physical servers, but without actually reducing the services that they can provide to the users in the enterprise. What we have here is a bunch of separate individual physical machines. Each one of these physical machines, once again, looks like this, has some hardware, operating system, and applications and data sitting on top of that physical hardware. When we're actually looking at running less of these physical servers, yet still providing the same amount of services, people are turning to this whole concept of virtualization. But the problem that the data center admin or the IT individual that's charged with forming a large scale consolidation project is they don't know which one of these workloads can run appropriately next to another workload when they're virtualizing. So let me explain. Once again, what the user is trying to accomplish, say each one of these is a physical machine in the user's data center. What they need to understand is which machines, if they're virtualized, so we have a virtual server over here, and this is the hypervisor layer, and each one of these are virtual machines. Okay, what the individual that's trying to consolidate their data center is worried about is they're worried that if they put, let's say, these three machines that I've circled here onto their virtual hardware, they may end up in a situation where each of these machines, which used to be running on their own separate physical box, may now put too much of a load collectively on this hardware. Okay, so when you're trying to consolidate, the whole purpose is to save money and to achieve an optimal ratio of available resources with which to run your servers and not overloading these Okay, so not putting too many virtual machines on the available hardware. So server consolidation when portability suite, plate spin protect, and plate spin recon are in the picture, allow the user to understand what's really happening in their data center from a server perspective. Once again, the user has a bunch of servers they're looking to consolidate. And each one of these servers may be a physical machine, may be a virtual machine, but what we're looking at is a bunch of workloads that are executing in the user's current data center. What Plate Spin Recon does with respect to workload profiling, okay, once again, it's installed on a server in your environment, um, in a data center. It doesn't need to be in a physical server, it can be in a virtual machine, but we install our product on a machine within the user's data center. Platespin's re Plate Spin Recon's best asset, okay, or its key um, abilities to understand what each one of these machines that is currently executing in the data center is really up to. Workload profiling allows Plate Spin Recon to connect to each one of the servers in the user's data center. Okay, we're talking a, a massively uh, scalable product as well. We can connect to or monitor up to 2,000 servers simultaneously. Okay, so Plate Spin Recon is installed on a machine in the user's data center and can connect to each one of the servers that the individual is thinking of consolidating. This workload profiling capability of Power Recon will discover the server, much like Plate Spin Migrate learns about the servers in its environment, and will also monitor or watch that server for a period of time. It periodically connects to the performance counters of the machines and builds up, over time, data that's all time sensitive. So we look at a timeline down here. Okay, let's say this is in days. Plate Spin Recon through watching and gathering, monitoring, and performance data on these servers will slowly build up 
an understanding of how that server behaves on average throughout a 24 hour period or across a week or whatever summary level the user would like to take a look at. This workload profiling is very powerful. It can then be leveraged by Platespin Recon for consolidation planning. Basically, now that Platespin Recon has been watching your servers and has built up a reliable and competent performance profile over a course of at least a month, now the user can leverage the performance profile. So we're talking real world performance data from the servers running production workloads during production hours. The user can take this data feed it into Platespin Recon's consolidation planning engine, and what Platespin Recon will do, will say, okay, this server, you had a profile that looked like this, so we'll call this server one. Server two, you had a performance profile which looked like this, and server three, you had a performance profile which looked like this, and Platespin Recon will understand that these are the way these servers look throughout the day over a 24 hour period of time, okay, when we're talking about building up that performance characteristics of the machine, it will then say, if I consolidate these three servers on one brand new box, I can end up saving a lot of money. You can see that if I combine these three waveforms, so that is overlay them on top of each other, we end up with a nice average line. Okay, so we can see here, instead of three physical servers, each using 10% of its resources, except for a brief period in the day, what we've done is we've now, Platespin Recon is able through workload profiling to recommend consolidating these workloads onto one virtual host. Okay, and that's where each one of these three VMs are gonna, are gonna reside. So once again, just going over briefly, the whole concept of workload profiling is the ability of a product to be installed in a data center and watch and gather performance and monitoring data on the servers that are currently executing. This performance and monitoring data that's been gathered for, from Placebin Recon as well as hardware specific data, what applications that app server may be running at a given time. Okay, all that data is collected and maintained here by Placebit Recon, stored in the database. Then later on, this performance profile can be used and leveraged by the user to run reports and drill into maybe finding, hey, what servers are running a particular product. Also, this performance profile can be leveraged for server consolidation purposes. We take the data that we've gathered through our monitoring phase and we figure out or power plate spin recon's consolidation engine can figure out the best way to group these servers together to run on a virtual host.